I'm John Casper's Northeastern Agronomist for Bex Hybrids. Pat Holloway, Field Agronomist in Southwest Iowa. So today we want to talk about an important topic in the industry and that is managing continuous corn. And so John, when, when you think about when we're, we're looking at lengthening these rotations or planting more corn on corn, what are some key things you like to, to consider when doing that? So for me, Pat, in northeastern Iowa, we've had a significant increase in beetle populations. And I like to think of it in kind of a three-tier approach. The first tier is these are the guys I'm telling without a doubt can handle rotating the beans. It's, it's the most efficient way for us to handle the corn rootworm population and to take the stress load off of the trade platforms. Yep. The second guys are the guys that, all right, you know, we're, we're in that four to, four to five year rotation, corn on corn, and then we're pulling them out to beans. You know, we're kind of in that middle rib right now. Those are the guys I want to look at and say, you know, do you have the inferro capability on your planter? Can we set it up with a dosatron? You're looking at a two to $4,000 investment there and another 19 to $22 with inferro insecticide. And, and I like going with some of the newer and more proven products in that situation. And then I look at, the, at my livestock guys. I got a significant amount of livestock guys or just uh, corn on corn growers that, you know, we just, we grow corn in Northeastern Iowa and we're very good at it. In those situations, you know, now we need to look at making that investment into a smart box system or, or a force system, something higher end on that planter to where it's an investment every year, but we're stacking up on those, uh, on those trade platforms and taking the pressure off of them. And those are tough conversations for guys to have, but looking at the marketplace this year, hopefully it gives guys enough of a wiggle room to be able to make that investment. You know, looking at where you're gonna be in that four to five years from now, or what you're going to do with your planner, uh, I think that's a conversation that needs to be had too. For so sure. what are you uh, what are you running in your area as far yeah. as recommendations? Yeah, so in, and in Southwest Iowa we have less corn on corn than obviously you do, um, but, but we do see areas where that is, is definitely important, whether it be for livestock or, or just we see corn being more, more productive or, or have better ROI. And, and I think and you hit it right on the head where you said, you know, we've seen big beetle, beetle populations increasing uh, and we've seen some more pressure uh, from rootworm in the last couple of years and, and especially on the longer term corn on corn. And, and I think when we get four or five plus years, uh, kind of like you mentioned, you know, I think we need when we're going to do those long term rotations, I think it's important we one rotate trades. I mean, mo most products we use today are, are pyramided or have two modes of action below ground for BT protection. But to maintain that uh, that the their efficacy, I think it's important that we uh, that we also try to if we're going to do long term corn on corn in particular, let's try to incorporate some full rates of soil applied insecticides, whether that be the dry or the liquid options. Uh, I think that's really important moving forward. I think one of the other things that we run into, uh, a lot of people are forgetting about with especially with PFR. You know, we've been finding increased ROIs in fungicide applications. And with the new modes of action, being able to move that up a little bit and still maintain efficacy out of our fungicides, you know, beetle bombing starting to become a real factor as well. Yep. And I think that's a very efficient way as long as you have somebody that is out there scouting your fields, walking them with you, giving you the information that you need to be able to yep. do it in a timely and efficient uh, application window. Yeah, that, that's a great point. I mean, that, that's one way to help manage our populations is to knock those levels down that previous year. So, so that's, that's definitely a good, uh, good strategy there to help. So, well, I appreciate your time talking with me and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Have Thank a good you. day.